A moment ago, I told you that I get my flip flops second hand, or I did my current flip flops. And uh, we, we were talking about the uh, lottery winner who won eight hundred thousand dollars and decided to upgrade to an electric toothbrush, a good one, mm, Oral B, Sonicare, yes, or oh, and some really good flip flops. That's what he's spending his eight hundred. Like his style, yeah, very good. I was on. We went on a cruise probably six years ago with our friends Enabler Ray, yeah, mm, and their his family. And at the end of the cruise, we were getting ready to get off the ship. And he said, these flip-flops are done. I'm just going to throw them away. And I said, oh, no, 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 no. Let me see those. Because I was wearing some uh, Serena Williams brand from over at Costco. They had a sale on them. Serena's. Serena Williams. Yeah, Serena had some flip-flops there at one point. So I was wearing those. And uh, they were. it's really a, uh, a woman's flop, I suppose. I think the name mm-hmm. would have tipped me off. Yeah. <laughs> They're on sale. Uh-huh. It's definitely a woman's flop. <laughs> well, they were on sale. Did but they make Serena's in size 13? <laughs> well, that was the thing. They were a little small Your for Your heel me. was coming off a little? They were on sale, so I got them. So a neighbor race said, I'm getting ready to throw these in the trash. I said, don't, don't do it. I'll take them. Give them to me. And he said, are you absolutely sure? And I said, yes. And they're too small. But yeah, you you've got a larger foot. I do. He goes, can you get in those? I did. Now my my heel hangs off half inch. But they felt better than the Serena's. Mm-hmm. So I have both still, but I always wear enabler rays. Now, if memory serves, because you and I have been to the beach a number of times together, mm-hmm. springs and you know, spring with the fellas, mm-hmm. fall with the couples and the mm-hmm. wives. Yep. You tend not to wear true flip flops, correct? You usually wear more of a sandal. No, I switched when after Enabler Ray gave me these. Are they real flops? They're real flops. I used to wear those uh, Tiva sandals. Yes. Which were really nice, but I think they went out of fashion. And uh, I was wearing those while everybody else was wearing just flip flops, which are easier. And so I wore, I started wearing a neighbor okay. rays. That's what I'm wearing now, or not this moment, but when yeah. I go out to the beach or something. And they weren't just fine for me. I didn't spend any money on them. That's yeah. the whole point. I'm yeah. not going to spend any yeah. money. No, he won't. Because he said these are really pricey flip flops. And I said, well, then I'll take them. They're, uh, was he um, intoxicated at the time? No, he was. we were leaving the cruise ship. Still, he was I've get- seen the guy. <laughs> I've seen him at like 11 o'clock on a Tuesday morning. <laughs> you and I had a work event. Yeah, am I supposed to think he doesn't drink on leaving day? <laughs> yeah. He slipped a I shot into my hand at 11 was... o'clock in the morning. I guess. They're, what's the brand? Reef? Is that the brand? They're, Reefs are good. They're yeah. very nice. Yeah, those are surfer shoes. Best I've ever had, without question. Best flip-flops I've ever had. So I always think of him when I put them on. I think of a neighborhood. Is Reef the one with the, uh, the – they make the one with the bottle opener in the, in that, the bottom? Yes. Yeah. You've got that? I do. Of course he does. That's of course a, that's a name of a race brand. Ray, yeah. He said, well, he said, <laughs> I can never get it to work. <laughs> well, for one, that's a liquor bottle. <laughs> <laughs> he said, you're going to love these. And you got the shoe upside down. They <laughs> have an opener in the bottom. And they do. That does come in handy. That's a nice feature to have for sure. There's another lottery winner in the news today. The good, the bad, the ugly here. Good news, bad news, and ugly news. A Winnipeg, Canada man has won the lottery... The ticket was drawn on August 24th. His name is Jerry Knott. He's from uh, Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Bought the ticket, stuck it in his wallet, and forgot all about it. He never even checked to see if he had it until four days ago. And he thought, man, I never did check that thing. So he took it back into where he bought it and said, can you check and see if it was a winner? They checked. He said, I saw a bunch of zeros come up and thought, my God, I may have won $20,000. $20 million. <laughs> The clerk said, it's not 20000 it's $20 million that you just won. So he has it. He only had, he had another six weeks left, but he did think of it in time and got it. You hear these stories from time to time, and one, one my question is, if, it, mm-hmm. if you buy lottery tickets regularly, I think Biggie's the one who gets them the most regularly in this mm-hmm. room. Mm-hmm. If you're the type who puts it away and forgets you have a ticket, does that mean you only buy it once a year? I think so. Or are you just that regular? Or is it so often? Oh, it's so often. It's it's my mother. Uh huh. My mother, when I go down there, Mm -hmm. she'll hand me a stack of tickets Mm -hmm. and say, "Go through these. Check these. Check these for me." Really? Yeah, and it'll go back two months. So these are the heavy duty buyers. If she forgets to buy, oh yeah, or check, she just piles them up. Well, that's the thing, then. Yeah, because you get, like, it's 180 days, I think, for most. So when I go see her, she's like, go through these for me. And I'll sit there like a, 
Mm-hmm. I'll separate Mega Millions and Powerball. Because mm-hmm. yeah, if you buy it just, you know, if the jackpot hits a certain number, yes. you know. I mean, you've bought that. You're waiting for that jackpot, right. that drawing yeah. that week. That's who I am. I buy it once a year when yeah. it really gets high. It's the daily buyer. See, and what my mom does, she'll go in and she'll go, okay, give me the next six drawings, mm-hmm. which they can normally do. Mm-hmm. And it'll be for the following, you know, each week. Oh, yeah. And she just doesn't check them or something, so I'll have to sit there. Yeah, like I'm doing te- my taxes, going through looking at numbers, seeing lining if you up. Won, yeah. yeah, maybe Here's that's another, what I did. I'm sorry. Another lottery question. This is referring back to flip flop guy in Florida. Mm-hmm. You know, in the story, I guess we may have glossed over it, but he won eight hundred thousand. Yeah, on a twenty dollar ticket, and he's going to buy a toothbrush and some flip flops. His fian- his fiance, he and his fiance went and picked up the ticket. They've been engaged for one month. You think they marry? I do. I don't I think feel, he. Yeah, I feel like they will. Upgrades. How old was he? He's twenty six. Oh no, they're not going to get no. married. No. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was old. I'm sorry. No, they're not going to get married. You think no. he? Um, he may. moves on to greener pastures, as it were. Yeah, yeah he he'll might. get inundated on social media. He, he might move to. on to yeah, greener pastures. I'm that's not saying that she's not green. She yeah. may be nice and green. She might. <laughs> She's also SOL. <laughs> she could be Forrest Green. I don't know. They may be in love. At 26. I'm sure they're mad, blazing Mad, in madly love right in now. love. It changes everything, awesome. though, when but you get that cash. 800 grand. It's not, it's not, you can't quit work forever, but uh, no. it's a pretty nice chunk of change. Pierce, she wanted to comment on the lottery. Go ahead. Yes, sir. I, I sporadically buy tickets, too, and I bought one uh, March 2nd of this year, and I happened to go into a Circle K one Sunday morning, so... Uh, I just said I checked the ticket, and the lady said, "Oh, you got to go to lottery headquarters." I said, "Why?" She said, "Because it's greater than five hundred dollars." Wow. Okay. So uh, I went, I checked it out, and I hit fifty grand. <gasps> but I had actually lost my wallet and went back and found it, not knowing I had that fifty grand ticket in there. Oh my man, that's fantastic for you that you got and it. And let me tell you. Yeah. I know. When I went to lottery headquarters, I, I don't know if you know this or not, but they're behind bulletproof glass. And the reason being is when you go in there, when I went in to cash my ticket in, the lady told me, she said, it takes about an hour to get, get your check. I said, why is that? She said, well, i got to see if you've got any uh, outstanding uh, debts that are owed or oh. hospital bills or, hmm. uh, 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 let me think, uh, outlets child support or anything like that and yeah. she said a lot of people come in there and they win their money and they get mad and want to fight the people at the headquarters then that's why it makes, it's bulletproof it makes sense bulletproof glass yeah. that does make sense yeah. what did you yeah. do anything extravagant when you got your fifty thousand? no no i haven't i uh the only thing i, I dj and stuff and i bought some new evolved uh 50 liner race speakers is what right. I did. Some new Not really a splurge, one. but nice. Right, good for you, the business. Good. And congratulations on your 50000 I hear electric toothbrushes are nice. <laughs> He's a DJ. Yeah, I'm a DJ, too. Yeah. Are you? Yeah, different style. <laughs> you know, we both uh, the same game really yeah yeah not really we're brothers in sound uh, brothers that's what they call it. brothers in sound <laughs> another good story here today a florida deputy being hailed a hero he saved a young boy by running into a burning home his name is marcus dawson he was the first on the scene palm coast florida saw a house on fire didn't think anyone was inside there was a three-year-old boy hiding under a blanket his teenage sibling had been watching him, and the uh, kitchen is where the fire started. The dad had run out to get something, only for a few minutes. It was caught on his body cam. Sheriff's office! Where's your mommy? Wait, I want my mom. Where's your mommy? Come with me. Okay. Come with me. Come with me. They're decorating him as a hero and saying without his immediately running into the fire, without his safety respirator, this would have been a much different outcome, and that little boy may have perished. His teenage sibling... Had left the home. <laughs> With something burning on the stove? Yes. Sounds Ooh, like that kid's stuff. in trouble. He yeah. was outside, yes. Ooh, that's bad news. Thank goodness they got to the little boy in time. And that guy is a hero for sure. Yeah, he is. Bad story today. The largest candy corn factory in America has been hacked with Halloween 10 days away. No. God. This is hacked. Fer- Explain. Ferrara candy. They make Brock's candy corn, accounting for 85% of the country's candy corn market. It is the gold standard. I would agree. They are in Chicago. Two days ago, they were hacked with a malicious ransomware attack. (sighs) 
The hack has disrupted production, and the company is still working to restore everything back to 100%, saying we are desperately trying to get all this candy corn out. It's piling up on us. <laughs> They're drowning in it. We're drowning in high fructose corn syrup. <laughs> Why don't they just use last year's? Uh, well, they could. Or, really. the year or the year before that. That's right. My goodness, this is the worst possible timing for this. I guess these hackers, they know when they to know strike. They know what they're doing. Yeah, they yeah. sure do, yeah. Golly. Here we are at peak joy. They are saying candy corn prices could go up because of this. Oh, or is enough supply out there now? Yeah, I, I think there's the enough out. It's, it's already in the stores. You know, I mean, have you bought your Halloween candy? I have not. We have not this year yet, no. Surprisingly. Usually we get, unless my is this wife. Is the first Halloween in this home? No, second. Second. It, but but la- last was co- last yeah, year was COVID. Yeah, you know, which I don't know. Last year, I bought a bunch of candy, had no trick-or-treaters, yeah. and, but it was COVID times, and so I ate all the candy. Now, this year, I don't know if there'll be trick-or-treaters or not. And you'll still eat all the candy. I do a lot. I do, I do eat a lot of the candy. Is it possible, because we know how your, your wife operates, mm. that there is Halloween candy in your home, and you're just not aware yes i was getting ready to say that that is possible because it's way too close your your wife is a yeah a prepper she she hides it from me you're she's right. already got it it's possible it's there yeah you may be right um now there's an event that we'll all be attending mm-hmm. pre-halloween here mm-hmm. uh i'm looking forward to it for two reasons one to see chris dim actually have to be happy around children <laughs> A little trunk or treat event. Yeah, a little trunk or treat. <laughs> yeah, we're having here. Oh, that's going to be the highlight. Yeah. And um, the other question I have, or more, is question: uh, Do we have to provide candy ourselves? Uh Do I need what? to bring my own? What? Wait. What? <laughs> wait. What? what? Let me do my stuff. Wait. What? Has anyone clarified on that? I, actually, Josie did say I'll throw a bag of candy into my car. I was like, Oh, geez, I'm clear I'm, on nothing. I, <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know about what that. You're talking about. I was thinking it'd be a bring company it. provided. Well, you'd think I get some dum dums out here for me to give yeah. out. Yeah, but if not, I need to get a bag of candy. <laughs> I can think of a few. <laughs> yes, uh, that's a good question. I don't know if we need to bring candy to that event or not. Yeah, yeah. I think no. the answer is no. Uh, I don't. I think we do. I, think I just enjoy the fact that it's mandatory attendance. <laughs> <laughs> See Chris Dev out here. What's he dressed as? An old lesbian. <laughs> What's that old lesbian giving me? Is that candy? Ellen DeGeneres? <laughs> oh, you look great. <laughs> not Ellen. <laughs> Especially trunk. Favorite again, trunk or treating out of his car. Right. Oh yeah, versus mine. We should put our yeah. cars right next yeah. to each other. The trunk or treat candy. <laughs> Which candy do you want, kids? <laughs> <laughs> From the old lesbian or the slob of the oily car? Uh, this is price related as well. Bad story. Average price of gas around the country now three dollars and thirty five cents. There's one. Sp- Spot in California, rural town, Gorda, California, seven dollars and fifty nine cents for a gallon of Gorda. Gas. Yeah, Gorda, California. Mm-hmm. Is that a supply thing? Uh, yes, and they also, of course, have a high gas tax and mm-hmm. so forth. AAA says the average price for a gallon of gas in California is four fifty two, seven fifty nine in rural areas. Maybe it is supply, and then the premium is at eight fifty a gallon. My car's premium. Oh, the premium. That's Boy, a yeah. how much money have you flushed down the commode? High performance vehicle. <laughs> you got to give them the big give them a drink of the good stuff. You know, California is just expensive for everything. It is. It is the most. That's expensive. why I see all those electric cars out there. People are clamoring to get them. If I was living there at eight fifty a gallon, I think I'd consider. Oh yeah, they're they're everywhere. Electric vehicles. Yeah, my goodness. It uh, costs you about $17 more to fill up your tanks nationwide this year than compared to last year at this time. Another bad story here today. It also has to do with supply chain issues. Oh, Chris yeah, it Dim. does. It, and it's yeah. kind of a combination good, bad, ugly. Mm. Um, the good news, a uh, container from India, at least one container from India, made it to its destination in England this week. The bad news, a stowaway inside, mm. a deadly stowaway. Some stonemasons in South Essex opened a container and found one saw scaled viper snake and it was not happy i'd never heard of this Mm-mm. breed but they Mm-mm. say saw, saw scaled vipers are found in the arid regions of the equator africa arabia southwestern asia mm-hmm. they can be around three feet in length and the, it is believed that in the regions where they are they're responsible for killing more human beings than all other snakes combined it's that deadly a snake. That deadly a viper. And it was... You say viper, yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. And it was in the container. Yeah. Uh, and they make their sound, when they're agitated, they loop their bodies into an S, mm-hmm. and their scales rub together and make this hissing Ooh. kind of sound. 
And that's the reason for the name. And it's, it's yeah, saw scale. Saw scale. Because it makes that that sound. Sound. The only thing that saved the stonemasons from you know potentially lethal bite mm-hmm. is the fact that this thing had been a contain in a container for so long that it was cold. They need to be warmed up, like old people. Yeah. Playing pickleball. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, they pull a muscle. <laughs> or Kelly's old car. So it was kind of lethargic. But once they got it, it became very angry. Very aggressive. Yeah. So they put it in a box well. and then put it in a room at a vet, well. like an animal, uh, like a veter- veterinary hospital, mm-hmm. and sealed the room with tape, with duct tape. Oh. My God. <laughs> that re- Well, thank goodness they got him. Yeah. One of the deadliest snakes in the whole no world. world. Right there. <laughs> it is very similar to my Tuesday nights. We all have to be warmed up before we play pickle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then we get real heated once we're done. Yeah, you feel on top of the world. Yeah, when they go home, they seal you up and they put you to bed. So that's oh, it. I'm going to be able to move tomorrow. And I'm going to ask if you have to keep the older ones warm. <laughs> and when they lose, yeah. they get angry. What's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, we got to rub them down with a, hot, yeah. like a heating solution to yeah. make sure they're warm. Some icy hot. That's right. That's right. That's what you need. Well, there's a big debate going on in the pickleball community about stretching cold muscles to before you start. Somebody told me recently, oh, my... Uh, my guy Landon from Stretch Zone. Your stretcher. He told me before you start something, you should do like real gentle stretches, like uh, just kickbacks and things like that, where you're kicking your uh, kickback. That's I mean, the biggest thing. Let me show you that. That's like that's yeah. Big. Do you kickback? Chicken in the bed and picking out the door. Big dog back. No time no. <laughs> that is horrific. Uh, it is kickback. Uh, that's, right. that's a kickback. Bow to your partner. Bow to the gym across the hall. Or you can do your hot. Somebody's got the hot foot. No, you... <laughs> Feel the music. Or you can do your high knees. Like your high knees. Hotty, hotty, yeah. hotty, like do. This. Hotty, 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 hotty. Like you're stomping grapes. <laughs> Well, I have always heard, uh-huh. now he's beating like a rabbit, uh-huh. I've always heard uh-huh. that you should just kind of get your blood circulating. Yes, that's right. Yeah. You don't want to really stretch the muscles. That's right, because you Pre. stretch a cold you muscle, stretch post. Mm-hmm. you will get a muscle pull. That's right. Post. <laughs> post. Now, sorry, it's high kneeing. Give it a good stretch. <laughs> yeah, be careful where you high knee without a mask. <laughs> So, we got one. Uh, man, so, I mean, we're getting into big discussion on that the other night about stretching. <laughs> Fred Sanford used to call that the funky chick. <laughs> they did. That's a good, that's a good something. Chance. That's Landon telling me that. Now, do your kickbacks yeah. and that kind of thing before you start. Yeah. Woo, what's the ugly story here? Oh, that was it. That was it. <laughs> <laughs>